So here's a bit of information on the battery that a Tesla Model S uses for its 12 volt low voltage battery. DCS 33 UNCR. Look at the terminals here. We have a small, a half an inch in diameter um, lead bump there, and there is a small screw that holds the terminals on. You don't need to get the terminals from the manufacturer from the battery replacement, but because you can use the ones that are here on the car. Plus, is on the right side when you're facing the terminals and the minor on the left. Some batteries are the other way. You can just walk in to the dealership and um, they will have a battery. It cost me about 180 bucks. Find them on Amazon or somewhere else for 110 or so. Also, there's a lithium batteries out there. This is a 2017. It is now 2022. This last five years. Um, the other batteries cost two and a half times as much or over double. Um, so it would have to last, the lithium battery would have to last 12 to 13 years before it becomes worthwhile um, to put it in. I don't need 13 years out of the battery. I don't mind switching this every five. All right, I'm Dave Rat. Let's change a 12 volt Tesla low voltage battery on this Model S 2007. Team. What do I do with the battery? It's under the car. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna open the hood. I'm going to turn off power to the car. Safety, power off, power off. Before the power. Okay, let's go ahead and um, take this thing apart. So. I got a bunch of stuff in the trunk. Get rid of that. Next, we want to pull up these things. They're little uh, rubber things, and they twist in. You got to kind of just friction spin them. You can do them both at once. These kind of just hold down the side panels here, and. Um, Act as little bumpers for the hood. Let's throw everything in the middle here. Ah, uh, this should just pop right off. And this should come up. And this should come up. There it is. Okay. Next, we're going to get this thing out of here. Pull this up, and you can just remove this inner ins this insert here. Oh, there's some little lights here. Actually, you can just pop the light out, slide it through. We can deal with that later, or you can remove the connector. Either way. Take this. Uh, we don't need to remove these ones here because they're holding in the HEPA filter. Or those ones there. I think it's just these two here. So these are held in by these little buttons. Take a screwdriver, you lift them up, and take them out because otherwise they pop off and um, when they pop off, they fall down inside and you don't want that to happen. Throw them in here. Oh, these here snap off. Sorry, I forgot about that. There's two snaps right on the inside here. They pull these little levers. Mm -hmm. And this can come off. And this has got two rubber hoses. They should just slide right off. Don't forget to reconnect. Come on. And now we got rid of that. Now we can take this out if you want. Wedge it up in there. If you want, you can pull this thing here. This is the, um, um, for the fire department to pull and kill power to the car. Now we've got to deal with this um, connector here we didn't unplug before. And I think there's a little lever here. You push this little lever down and then that pops out. And this rubber thing here, you're going to want to push this through. 
and then the wires will be able to free up. And now this should remove the whole tray and the HEPA filter. And if you want to clean your HEPA filter, you can pull all these bolts out and um, use an air compressor and a vacuum and tidy that up. Remove the positive protector. We don't really need to pull all this stuff off of here. We just need to remove those two little bolts. Remove the negative side first. Pull that off, set that down. Put the bolt in my pocket. Hopefully remember what it is. Put the positive side. Drop that down. Next we need to remove the bracket here. And this one here. And this one we need a deep well for. As luck would have it, I don't have a deep well 10 mil, so we have to use the dreaded pliers. Beautiful. Putting that on is going to be fun. Cool. Pull the bracket up. Set that down. Take this old battery out. And yes, it is a little swollen on the sides there. Oh, this bolt here, definitely start the nut before you try and do it with that angle of the screw gun. May cross thread, we don't want to do that. And we'll put the plus on first here. Drop the screw in. If these things are corroded, you definitely want to clean them up with something that's alkali. And um, don't over tighten these. Oh, we got a little power there. I can feel it jolting on, even though all the power is disconnected and the car is off. So, but not that worried about it. Cool. Cover this up. Snap on there. Yep. And we're going to need to thread this through. We got a wire here. And the. It's easier if you put the bottom in first and then get the top second and get that settled in. And also when you're set, putting this in, make sure that wire isn't messed with. This hose here, make sure it's not in the way. This hose here, make sure it's not in the way. And then we want to settle this in a little bit. We can see these two holes there. Okay, now we're gonna put these clips back in. They go right here. Ten millimeter. And we don't want to make these too tight. Throw this in here, and we're gonna to need to pull these through. So one of them comes to the bottom, and that's the smaller one. And the other one comes to the top, which is the bigger one. And the smaller one is your emergency release. You want to put it in right side up, and you just slide this little thing right into here. Put a boom. And then it just snaps right into there, and you can see it works. And this one here slides into here. We a little light, snaps into there. Cool, now we have the fun of putting this back in, which is kind of annoying because it helps if your fingers are dusty. So you have to kind of like lift up this bit here and get that wedged underneath. All right. This back in. Okay. 
the next piece over this. So this is good. You got to go inside of here. And it fits over a flange. The flange fits over. And that goes inside. And then this side here, we're going to want to make sure that it's snug. It just kind of sits right in there. Cool. Our top tray, water catcher. And there's three things that line up up there. Remember, we had these snaps here. So we want to snap this down on top. Make sure those things clip in. There we go. And now we've got to hook our hoses up. There's two. Don't forget to do that. Another hose here. We have our clips. Now I'm going to put those here. And This is going to go here, and this is going to go here. Cool. Put the nose on. Try a little friction spin, if it works. Something to do. Done. Almost done. What's hell? What? You gotta throw everything back in. That doesn't count. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Things to bring. AC power. In the front. The front hat. Extension cord. Just because. Important. Camping stove. Quarters for the camping bathroom and shower. Little wall splitter, toothpaste. Usually have a toilet treat kit, but I took it out. Sandals, backpack, shorts, swimming shorts, hat, puffy jacket, spare set of clothes, socks, and shirt, hiking boots, another pair of socks, gas for the camping stove. Thermal, and lightweight puffy jacket. As a spare. Shorts. Knit hat in case it's cold. Boxers. Waterproof jacket. Over. Coat kind of thing. Pair of pants. Swim hat. In case I need to swim. Pair of speedos, just in case. <laughs> Shopping bag, so we don't have to use reasonably uh, wasteful bags. Another backpack, because you can never have too many of those. Another pair of pants and the other sandal. <laughs> Extra hat. Camping chair, collapsible camping chair. Front license plate and license plate holder in case I get pulled over and the police want to give me a fix it ticket. I can mount it while they're there and have them sign off on the ticket for me. Tow bar, which I've actually done with my tinting of my car. The policeman pulled me over and said my windshield was too darkly tinted on the ticket and said, Hey, I fixed my car. 
We sign off, and the same policeman signed off on the fixed vehicle. It's fair shoot. Backpack, another backpack, and finally, one of the most important parts, collapsible camping table. My glass cleaner. Um, all right, now we're done. <laughs> <laughs>